So let's start by looking at what is the purpose of supply and demand. Like why do we why are we dealing with it so early and why is it so important? Why is it one of those things that um you know, if we didn't deal with it, um, uh, why am I, why do I want to care about it so quickly here? Um, let's just, uh, let's motivate it this way. Let's, um, is that supply and demand tells us tells us the price and the quantity. And these are really important in a marketplace because um, we don't have anyone controlling how much or how little will be sold. Um, Quite simply, we kind of have to rely on the market to, to figure this out for us. So when that's the case, um, <coughs> when that's the case, um, we have to be concerned about, um, you know, issues like uh, making sure that we have enough on the store shelves, um, that we have enough uh, things that we can buy, that uh, firms are staying in business. So. What we're doing is we are trying to, in essence, visualize the market. And these are markets that exist for single solitary goods. So let's take the market for phones as an example. So you know, as many of you probably, um, <coughs> like in my case, for instance, um, I have a iPhone. And so what that means is right when I went to buy it, uh, the price that I paid um, wasn't that different across the different retailers. Like uh, the price was pretty standard. And for a lot of things that you and I all buy, we don't expect the price to be that different. Now, in this market for phones, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing in this chapter, <coughs> is we're going to create something with an X and Y axis. And on our horizontal, which in this case is our X axis, we're always going to have the quantity of the product. <coughs> And on the um, y-axis, we're going to have the price of the product. Okay. So now the idea is that when you see these things, and it'll become clearer as we work through this chapter here, is that the demand curve, which in essence is representing those who are buying phone, uh, buying phones, this would be the demand for phones. The people who are buying the phone, you and I. And then we're going to have what's called the supply curve. These would be the sellers of the phones. That would be like Samsung, Apple. And the reason why economists do care so much then about um, these curves is because and your eyes are probably attracted to this point where they're meeting right here. And what that gives us is a quantity and a price. And these prices and quantities, as we're going to learn here shortly, are quite stable. And the usefulness of for us then is that we can then start to talk about um, what we expect the price to be. So that's why we're looking at supply and demand so quickly, because so oftentimes uh, economists are concerned about what the price is and how the price would be affected if a certain event happens. And supply and demand analysis allows us to do that. So what we're going to be working then throughout this chapter then 
is in the next unit, in the next uh, pen cast here, we're going to be looking at only the demand curve. Then in the video after that, we're going to be looking at only the supply curve. Then in the video after that, we're going to be looking only at the point where the two meet. And then we'll start to shift things around. So that's the order of the things that we're going to use to talk about this single graph here.